All right, y'all, let me show you what I'm working with. I've been out here working. Anyway, uh, my roses ain't blooming yet, but y'all see they done fill in and grew a lot of leaves. But anyway, that's the broccoli rob. Y'all will see that video first. I did a short on that, but I wanted to show y'all these carrots right quick. So I planted black nebula seeds, right? And I wanted to show y'all. Can y'all see this one where the the cotyledons, the, the baby leaves are purple. There's another one right here. You see? Because you can see the other baby leaves in here are green. I have about four of them where they're purple. This is another one. Those are more purple. That one's more purple. Look like I had one over here somewhere. I done lost it. But I'm going to watch those real close because I believe that's a genetic mutation. Now, I don't know what I'm going to get carrot-wise from that or as far as from the tops either but like i said i'm gonna keep my eye on that and i know that's super thick over there but it is what it is we're gonna we'll work it out uh so this is what my beans looking like and these are bush beans um so you can see i had some uh what y'all call them things uh roly polies i had some damage they was eating the leaves but beans grow so fast a lot of times they'll outgrow that um because the, the roly polies really usually concentrate on stuff that can reach it's right on the ground your little ceiling sometimes they eat your ceiling up this stuff will come up and in one night they'll eat them up um i got some beds filled i just filled that one i need to fill it a little more i got one more thing of cocoa core um Y'all can see over here, like I said, this carrot here, this was just a carrot that I had to, what you call me, and I just planted him. Um, this celery was these butts, those celery butts. Then that garlic, y'all see I have garlic and onion planted a little everywhere. Um, there's nothing really to show over there with my greens. They're just growing. I've been collecting the leaves. Let me show y'all. So y'all see right in here, I've been throwing the leaves. I threw some over in that hole too, but you can see where all those yellow leaves. But I'm telling y'all, this broccoli raw, it grows so fast. Um, I want to say this broccoli raw has been out here maybe three weeks. And um, I'm very impressed with it. I have some more seeds. I want to sow some somewhere else two maybe i'll sow some in the back maybe i don't know but i want to sow some more of that because the leaves are so big and they're so tender you can just saute them they're not tough they don't take like a long time cooking um i need to move my uh, what's they call gooseberry i need to move my gooseberry it's starting to bud out now you know see don't look at the weeds at the bottom but yeah it's starting to bud out these are not mulberries it, it from afar it probably looks like this tree is full of mulberries no when they branch out because i want to show you all let me show you when they branch out and start looking like that there so these are the pollen thingies these are y'all see the dust a lot of time if you see how the wait a minute let me get another one can y'all see that little bit of dust that's leaving on my hands my hands are filthy that's half the reason why you can't see it but you see that little powdery substance but yeah those are the these are the males so these aren't mulberries so if you wonder what the males look like they start out looking like they're going to be a mulberry, kind of. But very quickly you realize that this is a male and all it's going to do is make a bunch of pollen. So this tree is going to get cut down to the ground. Um, I'm determining do I want to keep these. See, I bought these cuttings and they told me they was a white mulberry, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure they, I don't know what they, I'm sure it was a scam they was running. <laughs> um... And I can't even remember where I bought them from. 
but look at me digging up clothes. Anyway, I'm sure it was a scam. Let me see, is there anything else I want to show y'all up here? I don't think so. Let's go back here. Um. Oh my goodness gracious. I had to move a bunch of pine straw. I did a bunch of raking in the front, raking out all that pine straw. Look, look at my poke card. Look at the pollen. It's pollen time. Good Lord. Everything I own is yellow right now. When the wind blows, it just blows clouds of yellow. <laughs> so I'm not washing any vehicles or anything until all this stops. So this is my little... Like I said, I believe this to be a pecan tree. And eventually I'm going to dig that up, but I want to let it get healthy. I think I'm going to leave it here one more season. And I'm going to dig it up and move it. Um, my blueberries, I believe they've been getting pollinated. The pear tree does have blooms. Um... Seemed like I saw more blooms. Look like a lot of the blooms fell off. I don't know. Just like in here, see? There's some. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure why so many of the... I see some. We'll see what kind of pears we get. We'll see what we get. But yeah, the blueberries been blooming. But this is the most progress over here. And I see I still have beans uh, popping up still. So these were from, y'all remember the seed haul? So once again, I have to shout out those people who, um, you know, a lot of this stuff, I wouldn't even have it if it wasn't for them. Um, and that's why I say it's always good to network with good gardeners because they actually can save you some money. Um, if you have seeds for things or things that you've grown and saved seeds, you guys can swap. So the beans are from the seed haul uh, that I showed y'all. And Natalie Williams sent me those. And then if you look in here too, you'll see Longevity Spinach over there. Aisha sent me that. So you see what I mean? A lot of this stuff, child, I, a lot of this stuff here lately I haven't been buying. Um, these I bought. So... Y'all see how pretty the peas are looking. They're looking absolutely amazing. Just the way I like it. I don't. I really don't like that I can see the ground, but it's okay. Um, I had some squirrels dig in here and eat some of the seeds. If anybody knows anything about squirrels, they will do that kind of a little bit. So that's why I have some very strategic spaces where there's nothing. Um, these are squirrels for the most part stayed out of. Um, they stayed out of this one as well. Um, once again, back to the seeds that Natalie Williams sent me. Yeah, they got eight off. So, yeah, some of your stuff, like I said, some of these cut worm or whatever got to them, but it's okay because look here. See, there's another one that's going to germinate and come through. So, you know, all is not lost when some of your stuff... Because I see a couple of these have not fared so well. But it's okay. Um, this may be a little dry. Maybe I'll water this to help it along. Um, same over here. The beans are beans from Natalie Williams. And the longevity spinach. Now the garlic is garlic that you know I save and grow every year. So that's that stuff. Um still have not harvested let me show y'all okay i disturbed y'all yesterday y'all there y'all go there they go yeah baby and then there they go okay let me get out of dodge because before i know it they'll be eating me alive so i should have some black turmeric in here that's gonna come up but I'm thinking I'm going to plant, uh, I got some pepper grass. I'm thinking I'm going to plant in there because the pepper grass roots won't grow that deep. And then I have some more cress because y'all, I want to make some gumbo zerb. And if you don't know what gumbo zerb is, it's gumbo, but it's super heavy in, um, greens and just all different kind of greens and herbs and 
like i mean they have different recipes but some of the recipes call for like a pound of collards a pound of mustards um well let's say half a pound half a pound of collards half a pound of mustards half a pound of turnips uh like a quarter pound of pepper grass you know so it's, it's a lot um of greens in it and when you look at it it looks totally different than um than um regular gumbo um, y'all see my cilantro over there? That's looking nice. And the parsley looks real good. A lot of that's going to get chopped down for gumbo zerb. And I got some lamb's quarter coming up. And look like I saw some black mint already trying to come up. That's some trying to come back over there. I don't know what it was. But look like, like I said, I saw some, but look like I saw some, um, I see a couple of lamb's quarter coming back. That's another thing. Y'all, if y'all don't. If you if your lettuce is bolt or whatever, grow you some lamb's quarter. Um, grow you some lamb's quarter and use that in the summertime because that lamb's quarter will grow when it's hot. It, it don't care, and you can eat it raw or cooked. Um, so I moved the thing that my yams was in, and ooh y'all, I, I had some yam roots down in there. I was so happy to see that I had some yam roots. But what I'm gonna do is y'all. I'm going to fill this mold to the top. I know it's cracked all the way up here. But I'm going to at least fill this sucker another three inches. Um, with some really good soil. And I think I'm going to plant some crests on top of that. And I'm going to let the yams come up through that. Um, I'm going to do some talks on bio-intensive gardening. I think. And a lot of times, like I said, I don't do these talks. Because I'm not a... I don't consider myself an expert. I ain't went to school for none of this stuff. I just... Like I said, I garden by the seat of my pants. That's just the way I do. I'm trying to look and see if I see any new growth on my trees. I know they're not dead. I scratched this one above the graft. It was still green. This one too, but it just takes a while on those citrus when they do that. So I got my two figs in the ground over there, which is good. Those are the two brown turkeys. They're in the ground. This must go. All that's going to get cut out. <clears throat> this pear is looking real good. <coughs> I'm trying not to choke to death, y'all. Real talk. Now, see this one. This is more what I'm used to. See how many how many blooms? Can y'all see all the white? How many blooms? Just look how many. One bud put out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight uh, flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that one. So, you get it. This one is. That's two of them, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you, you see what I'm saying? Between an average of six to eight blooms per thing. And then these are still yet to open. But you can just see every limb. So this is the first time that this tree has ever budded really heavy like this. Um, my peaches are also blooming every day. Seems like I come out here and there's more... Um, blooms like these two were not open the other day you can tell this one right here is going to open very very soon um uh oh i'm gonna lose no leaves and then we have several up here and if these any of these get fruit i'm sure I, i'm just i don't even know what i'm feeling y'all ain't no telling but y'all probably can't see nothing y'all probably like, she done lost her damn man anyway um but what i really wanted to show y'all because keep in mind this tree so, so all these trees, when you buy trees at the store, they're grafted, right? So they graft them onto a rootstock. The rootstock is usually a tree that has crappy, per se, peaches. But the roots grow very vigorously. So they graft on trees that have much tastier peaches or what they perceive to be peaches that are superior for some reason. Whether they're disease resistant, they ripen early, um... The fruit just tastes better. The fruit looks better. It could be any. That's a silkworm. Get you out of there. There could be any number of reasons why they graft certain peaches onto other things. And for y'all that want to know what kind of peach I have, Walmart just says peach. No brand, no nothing. Just peach. There's only one kind of peach in the whole wide world, Walmart says. So that's what I have. I just have peaches. But anyway, um... This tree over here, so over here, this was the part that was grafted. It was alive. Not sure what happened to it. I had it, 
five plus years and only the part above the graft died all this on this side is the rootstock so i thought the rootstock was not going to produce and let me say this from the ground all the way up it's much taller than me it's at least it's probably seven feet at the tallest part all of that grew this is two years worth of growth this is six or seven six it's probably like six years worth this is two years worth this freaking rootstock is very vigorous see this this branch here all that started that's from last year this is just one year's worth of and that's all the four feet long but what i didn't know it was going to do was fruit so for those of you that was wondering why i didn't cut this like it's a rootstock what i plan to do is graft onto it which i probably will however um i was going to graft this year but then it started fruiting well it's it's budding it's making i don't know if those the fruits will stay i don't know if they'll set and stay or they're going to drop off i don't know um but like i told y'all this is the one that i showed you before when it blooms it's very very pretty i don't know if you can see it i'm gonna try to show y'all see how red when it blooms the leaves are super red it's super pretty i have no idea what this rootstock is and i wish i knew but it's some kind of peach with super red leaves you can even see the redness in the bark a little bit um, and I think that's so pretty because if you've ever seen there's a peach that's really red it has like really red skin and really red flesh I think it's called a blood something or other peach I can't remember but I wanted that peach at one point in time but I think they don't they say they only grow well in Canada so I'm not gonna grow <laughs> I'm not gonna grow because my, my weather is nothing like Canada so this is blooming y'all tell the fruit gods to be kind to me and maybe those fruits will set and I will get to taste and see what this is. And if it's good, I'll still graft onto it. But I will, you know, save some of this. And not only that, it grows so vigorously. Um, if the peaches taste good, then I'm good with the tree that grows fast as hell and produces. Because look at all those buds. All those buds. All those buds all the like it's it's budding quite a bit i was actually shocked but i'm gonna cut this side off it's dead i'm gonna cut it off it's barbecue wood um never waste your fruit woods people I always barbecue with them and then i wanted to show you as well this other peach so a long time ago when these trees were in pots i took a peach seed i had ate a peach from my peach trees i took a peach seed and planted it in, well i just threw it down in the apple tree pot completely forgot about it i planted this apple over here this had not grown then eventually for some reason this peach grew so this is a peach from that over there but it's on its own roots it's not grafted onto some other rootstock so well seeds may not be completely true to the mother plant though so there's that but i have this peach here that's growing very close to this and this is like two years worth of growth which isn't bad i'm gonna let this grow one more year here because it likes it and i'm and the apple is not i haven't grafted onto it so my apple's not gonna make apples um i need to get some scions and graft onto it or get another tree but i'm i'm thinking more i'm gonna graft this apple than um get another tree look at y'all little buddy you showed up because you know they're gonna ask about you they ask if i eat y'all when y'all don't show up they think I cooked you. Yes. When your babies don't show up, people unsubscribe. They only subscribe for you guys. Yeah, they don't subscribe for me. But anyway, um, yeah, so I think, I don't know where I'm at on time, but y'all see my pile? And now it's covered with pile straw. So that was all from the front. That pile is so big, y'all. Um, I haven't got my blocks yet. I'm gonna get my blocks real soon before it gets hot on me. I haven't dug that stuff up. See what I'm saying? It should be so much. It's up. Be so much to do. It'd be so much to do. I, that's why I be looking. Like when people have time to be on four social media platforms and come out their garden and honey, how? How? Because when are you working? At some point, you have to be putting forth the work. 
But we'll talk about that because I got some videos of various topics. Oh my God. Oh my God. Chrissy, why didn't you tell me the goji berry was growing like that? Good God Almighty. These, see what I'm saying? These raspberries and stuff, they got to come out of here. They've got to, they've got to come out of here. They've got to come out of here. I'm thinking tomorrow. They've got to come out of here. Um, but look at this. The goji berry has sent up this. That's that's four feet. Look at the mulberry. Let me see if any of the fruit. Wait a minute. Did the birds? If the birds came in here and ate my mulberries, I'm finna be hot. I see one here. <sighs> Oh Lord, I don't see but two. And I don't see no no. You go one that fell off. Oh Lord. Anyway, I, I can prune them. I'm gonna prune it and get it to fruit. If y'all haven't seen that video where Dan did that, that does work. Y'all see my figs is growing out nice. They look much better once I repotted them. Look here. So there's a spider. That, that looks like a banana spider, but he's tiny right now. You finna get the bleep on. I know y'all love these spiders. Oh, they're harmless. I ain't got time. They got more legs than me, and they ain't got no fur. I ain't thinking about it. It got to go. I may not kill it, but it got to go. You got to get out of here. See, I don't want you coming back. I'm about to kill you. See, I'm sorry. When it comes to bugs, I just I have no remorse. I'm probably going to hell. It is what it is. But y'all see my goji berry is fruiting, blooming, finna bloom. Look over there. Y'all see all those finna bloom? See what I'm talking about? You got to get your goji berry. You got to get you one. Oh, that's looking so good. That little stuff I repotted over there. That's looking so good. Let me sprinkle some water on you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle some water. Oh, I got to sprinkle some water on y'all. Okay, so apparently some of my corn seeds weren't about a lot of damn duh. But it's okay. Because guess what? I got more seeds. It look like out of that batch number three germinate. I'm going to give it a little more time. But not long. I got a whole bunch more seeds over here that I'm going to drop. Some of those seeds very well may have not, may not have been um all the way mature my pomegranates are looking so pretty those have got to go in the ground i've got to find me a place because those pomegranates i, I believe they're going to do better in the ground and then more likely the fruit in the ground so i've got to do that but yeah like i said once again my garden uh, the people send me stuff those figs came from lynn the goji berry came from go grow one of the pomegranates came from pit stop kitchen and garden um I'm trying to think. The elderberry. That elderberry came from somebody. Go grow. That's where that elderberry. She sent me the elderberry and the goji berry at the same time. Um. Yeah, all of that stuff, you know. That's why I tell y'all. Network, the Kalamannas. My homegirl Lynn sent me that. Those are Kalamannas. Those are Kalamannas. Now, about all that stuff. That's what I'm saying. So much of this stuff comes from other people. And if you go. Oh, baby, this. No, this is a weed. I thought that was something special. I was getting halfway excited. So, remember when I put those sticks and stuff down? It looks like this stuff may have went on and rooted. Okay, so, I got some little stuff coming up. Look, wait a minute. You ain't even really in the ground like talking about. That's why I be saying, y'all, this, this little stuff here, it don't even really be in the ground all the way. And it be growing. See how it's growing? It's like, just give me moisture. That's all I need. I ain't choice. I ain't choice either. I'm going to give you exactly what you want. I'm going to bury this stem. Put some dirt on top of you. So you can put down some roots. And grow. Grow through them. I know y'all probably like, you covering up the leaves. Yeah, kind of, but this stuff smells so good still. Still, to this day, y'all, it smells good. Look, you see this leaf? Y'all will probably be shocked, but you probably could just halfway bury that leaf. 
Because I think I did that. I halfway buried some leaves. And child, that low stuff started growing. But you can see different spots where the green is coming up. Coming up through places. So like I said, um, I may have some cuttings or something for that at some point. Whatever I put in there, I did not water. And I know I didn't water it because I just thought about it. I was so ready to get up out of here. <laughs> anyway, y'all, this video has been extremely too long. But till next time, see you guys later.